going on, y'all? I know it's been a minute since I've done a live stream. Um, I've actually been really busy lately. Um, as you guys may or may not know, I've been, you know, taking a break away from the music scene and actually getting back in. Pardon me, actually been getting back into competing again. You know, I've been doing racing style gaming again. I've been, you know, doing UFC again. You know, in game, I've been, you know, really competing again, like, you know, I used to do a lot. And a lot of people have, you know, have these theories and these things about it that they think is true. Well, I'm actually going to be. separating fact from fiction and also talking be talking about something that a lot of people are actually going to be in shock about which I have actually promoted a bit all right so starting off and, you know, like I just said, a lot of people think that I've fallen off the map, that I'm not doing music anymore. That's not true. I am still doing music, it's just I've been taking a break from that. And I've been, you know, really getting back into competing, you know, in racing style gaming. Because obviously, as you guys know, I'm a full-time professional drifter when it comes to the racing gaming scene. And, you know, I've been, you know, competing with that because i got some competitions coming up. So I've been... You know, competing with that, I've been doing that. But when I'm not doing that, I am in the studio every day. Every day I'm in the studio. Whether I'm releasing some new stuff, whether I'm coming up with ideas or what, I'm always in the studio. Now, a lot of you are wondering what's fact and what's fiction. As far as I've read some of the comments, you know, I've read some of the comments on YouTube, seen the emails, seen, you know, the stuff on number one music. And I wanted to answer some of those. One person actually asked on number one music, is it true that I am going to Tokyo, Japan for my first show? No, that's not true, as as awesome as that would be. Because as you guys know, you know, Japan is like one of my all-time favorite places in the world. I got friends that live over there. I've always wanted to go visit. You know, I've studied the language. I've studied the culture. You know, I'm very versed in the Japanese way of life, their culture, their language. But no, that is not where my first show is going to be at. Like I said, I wish it was. I really do. That'd be super dope to have my first ever show in Japan. But no, it's not there. Sorry, Japan. Much love to you guys. Shout out to my friends. Shout out to all my friends that live over there, man. Konnichiwa. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. But no, my first show is not going to be in Japan. Second off, is it true that I helped to found the underground record label Killer Clown Sounds? Yes, that is very true. Me and Eric started it back in 2011. So yes, that is true. And yes, it also is true that me and him released an album within 24 hours that very next day. That is very, very true. We actually did that. Our first album that we released was Virus, and that was done literally overnight, which turned out to be a huge hit for the both of us. Now, I did get one question that, and you guys may have, you know, see me promoting it a bit. Is it true that I have a band coming up? Yes, that is true. It's called Masters of Insanity. It's actually with a good friend of mine here from an Ohio, from here from Ohio. Um, we're currently sitting down working on some music, some song ideas, what we can come up with writing. We're in that process of you know writing and recording, and you know coming up with a good solid demo. 
before we release anything to the public, to, you know, any labels, to any press. So, yes, that is very, very true. And speaking on that, people want to know what does that mean for me as an artist with me having this full-time band? Um, as an artist, like, I'm still going to do my thing. Like, during our off time, I'm still going to release my stuff. I'm still going to do my thing. So, and you guys won't be losing out on anything. You guys will still be getting your music from me that you guys enjoy. You guys will still get your stuff that you like. Um, and you know, like everything like that. So you guys will still get your music. I'm not stopping, you know, my style of music for anything. That's still number one. But this band thing is, you know, it's a way for me to, you know, help myself climb the ladder to shut all these labels down that want to talk crap. Because like myself, my brother David, who is the co-founder and also a fellow vocalist for the band, has the same envisionment in his mind. So, you know, he has that same mindset that I do, and he wants to help bring justice to the music industry. So anyway, I'm trying to see if I can get him up in here. There we are. All right. But, uh, you know, a lot of people have a lot of speculation as to why I started, you know, doing music. Was it because of this? Was it because of that? No. The real reason why I started music was actually to help my family. And then from there, it turned into a full-blown mission to help create opportunities for people like myself, for the special needs community, for those that just genuinely get cast aside and become outcasts to society and the music industry as a whole. Like, that became my sole mission and that very much is still my mission but it's also my brother david's mission as well you see not only do we want to create good music and do our thing but at the same time we want to be able to open doors for people like ourselves that are you know genuine outcasts i want to tell you something when i first met david you know, I thought he was just a normal, you know, your average, average, everyday Joe. You know, didn't think too much of it. And we got to talking about music the other day. And let me tell you something. This man has got some of the best, and I mean some of the best metal screams that I have ever heard in my life. Plus the dude's got a fucking voice. This dude can actually rip it on the fucking mic. The dude's one of the best fucking vocalists I've ever seen in my fucking life. And between me and him, we could do some shit, which is what we're doing. You know, we could, you know, potentially, you know, make good stuff, which is what we're working on. So, like I said, yes, the rumors of me starting a band with my brother David are true. Now there is one personal question that I was kind of hesitant to you know talk about and that is because I know a lot of people have noticed this but are me and Abby getting back together? The question to that is I can't say yes but I can't say no. I want to say yes, but the reason why I'm saying I don't know right now is because she's currently looking for a place of her own and getting out of her mom's place. So, I mean, once that happens, then yeah, we will, you know, be back together fully. We will be back together. That is a yes. 
but right now, as of right now, we're not sure when that will be. But just know that that is coming. Just know that we are going to get back together eventually, full time, full blown. We're going to announce it. We're going to have a YouTube channel, fucking everything. And no, she doesn't have social. No, she doesn't have a social media like Facebook or anything like that right now, because of the fact that she wants to keep it hidden from her family. She doesn't want her family knowing about it just yet. She wants to wait until she can get into her own place before she reveals to them that me and her are together, so that way they can't do shit. <clears throat> Um, let's see here. Sorry, I'm sitting here reading like some of the questions off of number one music. <clears throat> will I be really will I be releasing any new music? Um, yes, definitely I will be. I actually do have a new song I'm gonna be working on today that should be released in a few days or so. So you guys can expect that. Do I have any new music videos coming out? Uh, that's hard to say. Given the weather, that's very hard to say. Because I wanted to do some outside shots for a music video. But uh, given the circumstance of the weather right now, and with it being snowing and cold, it's more likely not going to happen until probably next month when, it, when the snow stops. All right, let me read through the other comments here. Da -da -da. Love your music. Thank you. Fucking love you guys. You guys are the best. Uh, let's see here. Will I be going for... What's it say? Oh, okay. Will I be going for the Need for Speed Drift Championship title this year? Yes, I will. As I said earlier, I'm very big on competing. You know, like I said, when I'm not, you know, doing my music or doing my photography, I'm usually competing. So, yes, I will be going for my title this year, 110%. I will be going for the title this year. Will I be doing any more gameplay videos? Yes, I will. I do actually, and thank you for saying something because I do need to get on that. I really do need to get on that shit. Um, so yes, the answer to that is yes, I will be doing some more gameplay videos. Um, I know that I haven't done any I mean, quite a lot of just I've been so busy with shit that it's just like, you know, I haven't had time. But I do plan on making time for that probably today within the next few days. I was sitting down, gaming out, and jumping back on the saddle for doing some gameplay videos. What the what the what, what? Oh man, sorry, I had to scroll down for her and see this. Will I be going back to my hometown of Seattle? I don't know yet. I would love to go back to my hometown of Seattle as I do miss everyone there. Also, shout out to the Seahawks. Fucking love y'all. Shout out to my 12th man army out there. What's up? Shout out to my boy Pete Carroll. Shout out to Russell Wilson, aka Dangerous. Shout out to every shout out to my 12 man army out there, 110%. I fucking love you guys. 
And you know, I know I said it before and I'll say it again. Even though I'm here in Ohio, Seattle will always be my motherfucking home. My home is where the Hawks are. My Hawks are back there in Seattle, man. So I see y'all, man. I fucking love you guys. Will I be doing any more artwork? Uh, yeah, I will, actually. I've been, you know, getting back into creating more artwork lately. I've been doing a lot more with artwork type stuff. Um, I recently did a couple art pieces. One of them was um, a fan art last week of, you know, one of my personal heroes that I look up to, um, Roman Reigns. I actually did a fan art piece for him in a superhero form, so that was super cool. But yes, I am still going to be releasing some new artwork. When? I don't know. Oh, when can my album Shadowborn be released? I don't know at this point. I was planning on releasing it sometime this week, but given the circumstances, I'm not sure. But you guys will still get it. I'm just not sure when right now. Oh, Nintendo or Sega? Definitely Nintendo all the way. 110%. I'm, I'm a Nintendo boy growing up. I had a Super Nintendo. I had Game Boy. I had, you know, Nintendo 64. I had GameCube. I've got a Nintendo Wii. So, yes, definitely Nintendo all the way. As well as Atari. I fucking love Atari. Fucking love Centipede and Palm. And Asteroids. Fucking love those. But mostly Centipede. I play the fuck out of Centipede. Alright, Xbox what really you're gonna ask that. I've got an Xbox one, you're gonna sit there and ask if I have if I prefer Xbox or PlayStation. Obviously Xbox. I right, no hating on any of those that do play in PS4 or anything. Don't get me wrong. Mad love for it. They've got some great games like the trend the Grand Turismo games. You know, stuff like that. So, you know, huge shout out to PlayStation, man. Y'all got some amazing fucking games. Not going to lie. But I do prefer Xbox over PS4. And if you guys are wondering what system I have, I have Xbox One X. And let's see. Yeah, it's One X. But uh, with that being said, y'all, that will do it for these questions. Um, I hope I answered all your guys' questions. I do hope I was able to separate fact from fiction for you guys. So you guys know what I'm doing, what I'm not doing. All that good stuff. But uh, with that being said, y'all, I'm Will Chance, a.k.a. Shadow Wood from Bloodshot Records. And also co-founder of the band. Masters of Insanity. Sorry, I had to do that little dramatic pause. I love doing that shit. I love fucking with you guys. But uh, y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy Chance, aka Shadow Blade from Bloodshot Records and co founder of the band Masters of Insanity. And I, myself, and my brothers will see you guys later. Also, I will be live streaming later on. Peace.